All right, so Francis Bacon. Bottom line, what is Francis Bacon known for? Francis Bacon is known for setting science on a path to make our life easier, to to make people's lives better. Um, that's what he's known for. And how did he do that? So he went from deductive method to inductive method. Deductive method um, seeks certainty. And by this, um, there is no new information coming in a argument or a logical structured uh, argument that you present. For example, apples are fruits. A Granny Smith is an apple. Therefore, the Granny Smith has to be a fruit. So basically what you're doing is just putting the information in order and in logical equivalence, logical sense so that you may, you know, understand what you're saying. And so everyone knew that, um, and deductive reasoning is a whole nother thing, but Now, what is inductive? So inductive does not seek absolute certainty. Um, inductive, inductive reasoning seeks probability. If I was a scientist and I was to set out to find if there's a black swan, I would travel 150 cities or regions across the world and document, okay, at each lake or each body of water, how many swans did I see? What color were they? And I'll get all that. Um, but I would not go to every single body of water because it just it'll take years for me. So I have in you know let's say in four months I visit 150 regions across the world, and I conclude that in all probability there is no black swan because in every city and every region that I visited I have not seen a black swan. That's what inductive method method is. Um, so from going from certainty to probability. Now that allows assumption in, in places where you don't have to prove everything. Um, so that's what he's known for. Um, yeah, that's pretty much Bacon. Again, bottom line, um, Bacon made science or set science on a trajectory to make our lives easier, to make science work for us, rather than how the Greek philosophers thought of explaining the world that they're in. For example, uh, you know, why are the trees green? Or why is the world changing? Why, why are there seasons? Why do people die? Uh, how do I know the green, you know, or why is the green that I see the same green that another person sees? So they're trying to explain the world that they're in. Now in today's day, we don't try to answer those kind of questions. We're more concerned as to science working for us, for science making our lives easier. Um, all right, so that's it.